Buzzfest 31. Buzzfest 31. Buzzfest. Buzzfest 31. Buzzfest 31. Everybody, welcome home, Blue October. Thank you guys for uh, being part of the show. Thank you very much uh, for being here. I know you guys, um, I, I, There was. it's funny because I was telling somebody the other day, I got some, the demos for Sway, and there's some songs you know that would come through, and it's. you start immediately thinking, how is this going to play out live? Right. And... Bleed Out was the one where I'm like, I want to know. Like, I have this whole, like, I hope there's a lot of production because I have this whole thing in my head I've worked up over the course of the months of how I think it's going to look. How do you think it's going to look? Massive. Like, there's going to be a lot of, I don't the gobos and stuff and <laughs> pyro. Lots is it going to be pyro? Lots of pyro. Yeah, there's going to be lots angels flying across the stage and glitter. We have the unicorns. Soleil people come down too. That'd be a good idea, Yeah. 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 That's big production. Yeah, see, now you got you see, you have to think now because it is you guys now. You guys are the guys. You're the label, basically. Right. So now you got to go, well, we can't do that, man, because it's going to cost a it's lot of money. It's going to cost us way too much. Now, the last time you guys were in town was when the album launched. Right. Um, how does it feel to be, like, now when you actually, because I know it's tentative. It's like, okay, we're going to do this ourselves. Now it's out. How does it feel to be... You have to answer to you, basically. Uh, it, it feels nice. Um, it's a lot of work, a lot more work, and a lot more um, wonderful stress because you, we're, we're kind of perfectionists to where we, we don't really trust anybody else with the ball to run with it, so we kind of run with it ourselves and with our manager, Paul Nugent, and, and um, we just, we're really hard workers, so we like to do everything 110%. So. It's nice. And now it's a bigger ball. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, it's turning into a big ball because of your, you're so sweet. But, you know, you've got this big son of a bitch back here. Yeah. CB, what are, I know what you've been doing while you were gone. Working out. <laughs> that got my uh, handicap down to a six. You know. Dude, you look like you could, I don't know, like hurt this crushing he guitars. hands. And he can flip a truck by himself. Yeah. Like you I'm, need to go on stage in a unitard. Oh, like, man. You look like, <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> but we'll wrestle later. All right. I know how that's going to work. I'm dead. In pudding. Dead. In pudding. Now. What did she say? I don't know. She said, blah, da, 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 I love you. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so with the tour, I mean, because I know you guys were out um, you doing a tour. And yeah. then you're obviously here. And then what's next for you guys? Uh, Tuesday, we leave for Russia. Um, we leave for Moscow, Ukraine, St. Petersburg. Then we go to UK and Germany, and then we come back and um, hopefully we tour again. You know? Are you? Is there any? Have you been to Russia before? I didn't. No. I didn't think so. Like, how does one? How does that come about? Like, our manager. <laughs> so, do you guys want to play a show in Russia? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Actually, supposedly we have fans there, so. They've been. We were supposed to play there like three years ago, and it got canceled due to fires or something like that. So this time we're we're gonna go over there, hopefully with no fires and no, no weird stuff. We're gonna start some fires. Yeah. Like that. Do you have any like preconceived notions of what it's gonna be like? Like you're gonna be in a hotel room with one light bulb and like a bottle of vodka. Lots Here of you go. snow. I, I don't know, but I heard the. I, I don't know. Maybe it's a rumor, but I heard of some band that went over there and started po talking politics lately, and they got put in a work camp. Oh yeah, it's a uh, angry. It's, it's Pussy Riot. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I gotta tell you, they're in my. You know, I'm not saying their music is terrible, but that music alone should get them put in prison. Cause it's pretty awful. <laughs> but I just don't understand how they could get asked to come into play over there, and then put in because now they're. But they're the kind of people that would show up in front of like government buildings and play oh, and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, we're not gonna do that. Like Tom Morello on Speed. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Yeah. Now, so when you do that, I mean, obviously. You think farther and farther down the line. When you come back to the states, any plan? Like what's uh, next single? And then, um, then we hopefully hope it reacts. We we in January, we're, I'm going to try and shoot two more videos for two more songs, Sway, and possibly things we do at night. Shoot videos for those, and then release hopefully maybe Sway. I'm not sure. We're going to test it and see which one we like the best, and then ride it out. You know, just keep touring and touring and trying to keep this album alive for the next two years. 
I like to think it's because you're from here and it doesn't happen in every town, but people will email us and be like, stop playing. You need to play this song. Why aren't you playing this song? You're oh, yeah. an a-hole. You're not playing this song. Well, it's funny because I'll be like, okay, guys, on Twitter, I'll be like, what should be our next single? And it's just all of them. And I'm like, damn it. I'm not getting any closer. But then I look at like iTunes sales and then I really kind of regulate which one might be the one. And it's funny because... And then I call you up and then I ask you, you do for, not. for your opinion. <laughs> Yeah, and, and really, I, I do, guys. <laughs> I freely admit this. Uh, when I first got here, and I've said it on the air, and I think I've said it to you guys, I hated your band. Hated, just yeah. hated you. Not because of any music or anything like that, because of every people I hear, you see these faces all going, hey, you should listen to Blue October. Blue October. And I'm one of those people. Yeah. The more you tell me something, the less I want to do it. Yeah. And I'm like, nope, nope, nope. And then I went to a show, Yeah. and that was it. Yeah. Sold. Yeah, and I think that was the same show that went, Hate Me used to be a different version it used to be like hey me today and i sang it the way i do live and i went hey me today and he goes you got to get that guy back in the studio and re-record it and what was my reaction i think you called me a dick i said that dick <laughs> who the hell does he think he is but then i went and did it and next thing you know and it's funny because people outside of the market like other radio guys would be like oh you know what you're just playing it because they're from there and i go no yeah. no i tell them that story and i go it's not that i go um, play the damn song and you'll see you know yeah i mean seriously that's the one thing i like about you because there's albums that we put out where you go hey just it's just not for us you know and then there's albums that you go okay yep this one's for us you'll get you'll shoot me straight you're a straight shooter i do do that you're an oak i don't know you're I'm not an that oak hard. Yeah. cb's like an oak I might be like a fir tree, a ficus C bush. CB's <laughs> petrified wood, man. Like, I'm just sitting here. I'm like, when's your next MMA fight, dude? Like, <laughs> holy crap, people, you're huge. People dude. come up to me and ask me if I'm a fighter. And I'm like, dude, I'm really a lover. Please don't beat me <laughs> up. We were in the mall with both our kids. You know, we were touring. His wife and my wife and our kids are on the bus. And we were in the mall. And this girl, I think she's like 17, comes up to me and goes, uh, uh, uh. Are you a fighter? Are you a fighter? He's got his kid, and he's like, no, I'm not. I just want some sweet tarts. <laughs> uh, I love sweet tarts. I love sweet tarts. Well, thank you guys for coming back. Thank it's you for having us. You. Thank and, you. Uh, I know we will see you before the end of the year. Yes, you will. I know we're going to. You will. Um, and uh, hopefully, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll call come you to later. Russia. I'll, I'll call come. you. You come to Russia. Come on. I don't think I can. Goodiski check. Yati biale blu. Lost. That means I love you. Oh, okay. Yeah. How do you know that? I, I learned that one a long oh, time Jesus. ago. I used to date this Russian girl in high oh, school. Oh, yeah. stop, stop. Yeah. <laughs> Which album was that? <laughs> that was the answers, actually. Oh. Ah, there you go. <laughs> well, guys, welcome home. Thank it's you, man. It's always good to have you guys Thank here. Thank you so Thank much. You, and obviously, it. you guys want to welcome them home. <laughs> <laughs>